barks and saplings on the rough and broken ground. It was grand to see that mountain horseman ride. Banjo Patterson's much-loved bush poem about an heroic horseman still resonates here more than 120 years after it was written. It's a place that celebrates the skills of its horsemen and women, handed down through the generations. To win the man from Snowy River at Corral is like winning the Melbourne Cup. You like when you see, ladies and gentlemen? I do too. Sensational. Once a year, the man from Snowy River Festival brings thousands to watch in awe. The competition is fierce. Only the top ten point scorers will make the final. This year, the pressure is on the local Mitchell brothers to deliver for the crowds once again. David's won the challenge twice before, and his younger brother John is the reigning champion. But there's no obvious sibling rivalry. How does it feel competing against your brother? You're both out to try and win. Oh, yeah, but I help him with a heap and he helps me with probably more, so, yeah, it's, it, it's great, I, you know. I'd prefer him to win than anyone else, so, you know, or apart from myself, of course, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're in it to win at the end of the day, but if he does well, good luck to him. Really good. Up and over that big one, 15. Would you like your brother to win it if you don't? Yeah, I'd love him to win it if I didn't. It must feel a bit weird competing so closely against each other. Oh, not really, because my attitude is I'm competing against myself, so... If you can control what you can control, the rest will just fall into place. This is a world first. It's never been done in a cross-country event. So John is again relying on his beloved stock horse stallion, called Chicken Man, to help him hang on to his title. Don't attempt it if you're not up to it. He's the best horse I've sat on. He's, he's just the best mind and so balanced and, and he's, the natural ability is, is phenomenal. Up and over. Hey, turn him. You're pretty good mates. He's my best mate. <laughs> I love him. After two days of competition, the final top ten have just been announced. Both Mitchell boys have made it through. Are you feeling a bit nervous or are you as calm and collected as you both look? Oh, you, you're not human if you don't get nervous, but we're not nervous now. Why waste the energy now and get nervous? What about your parents? They must be finding it a bit nerve-wracking. Yeah, I think they get a bit nervous, don't they? But yeah, I think so. they can't do much about that. Which one do they go for? Me. <laughs> no, no, both of us. He's probably telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you like when you see, ladies and gentlemen? I do too. I've joined their parents, Keith and Susie, for the final showdown. We're all on the edge of our seats. The clincher will be the buck jump, and after a year of training, it all comes down to staying on for just eight seconds. Second place belongs to David Mitchell and the winner of the Manchester State winner for 2017, ladies and gentlemen, is John Mitchell for the second year in a row. Both these young men are born and bred in the foothills of the high country and they are a classic representation of what is Australia. It's an extraordinary achievement, but typically they're taking it all in their stride. Even Chicken Man. He's proved himself once again. Already, these brothers are looking ahead to next year's challenge. Well, I go and practice a bit more so I can beat him next year. I've got the bragging rights this year, so it's on next year. For the man from Snowy River, he let the pony have its head. He swung his stock whip round and gave a cheer. And he raced him down the mountain like a torrent down its bed while the others stood and watched in very fear. 